today I will be teaching you how to record your own Roblox videos using Bandicam. Alright, so Bandicam is such a great recorder that you can use. It has no lag and is really simple to use. Um, I personally use Bandicam. Some of you may know that. I use Bandicam to record gamings because it doesn't have lag like OBS does. Um, but recently I've been using Bandicam for pretty much everything now because I find it more comfortable for my computer. So I got the free download one. Um, it's basically the same. The thing is that on the free download you only get 10 minutes of recording and no longer than that. And you get a watermark on the top of your screen. But for the full version, um, it's $40 for one PC and $60 for two PCs. Um, I would personally get the $40 one, obviously, because it's less. But yeah, so you can get the full version if you are, if you can get the full version. But the free download is the one that I have. Um, so you download it, it's not that hard to download. And then once you've downloaded it, you go to the, you open up the recorder and you will appear with this page here. So there are many options that you can record. There are the rectangle one. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Rectangle on the screen. So basically you select whatever you're trying to record. Um, so, wait a second. yeah, so, so you record whatever you're going to select in here so let's say if i just want to record this bandy cam screen i can just select it i can adjust the size too and click recording i can draw on it too um and yeah that's pretty good for tutorials or if you're trying to show something but yeah and there's also full screen it will record all your screen and there is a round mouse so this one records whatever your mouse is pointing at so whatever is around your mouse and there is game recording mode game recording mode is so helpful and it's really simple too um, basically so if you want to record gaming which I think most of you guys will do if you're a gaming channel so you click on gaming you open up the game and then you click on the game so you click the window you go back to the recorder and it will appear here where it says roblox player beta um that is locating you're telling the recorder that this is the screen that you want to record and yeah that's basically how you record it and then you click record and like i said you only have 10 minutes and it's not much of a big deal because you can always go back um, and record again after your 10 minutes is run out and just continue on like that it will also give you a notification that um, it's already been 10 minutes and you can just press no and yeah so um, if you are doing voiceovers on your gaming or whatever you're trying to record um, you can go to this little microphone so add microphone and you appear with this little window here and you can um, adjust the primary sound which is the sound of your computer or the game you just select it i usually go with default sound device and then for secondary sound device is your microphone so if you have a microphone um, you can just go here and find your microphone name i'm using a blue jetty so that's what i would select um, and if you don't have a microphone um, and you're on a laptop, there are options here of the microphone of your laptop. And yeah, you can adjust the volume of it. Um, and just make sure this is checked. And obviously this one has checked. And then you just click OK. And also, you can also um, give... Um, you can also adjust the mouse settings. So if you go to this little like arrow with a circle on it, you click on it and you have a lot of options, which I love this because it's really great for tutorials because people will be, um, will be more, um, their eyes will be more on the mouse so that they know where to click. 
so you can uncheck here if you want no mouse cursor show the mouse cursor cursor or not um you can add a mouse click effect so when you click here it will be yellow because i changed it to, to yellow so the left click color i change it to yellow and the right click, co uh, click color you can change it to any other color that you want and just click ok and the right click will be the other color which i think it's pretty neat um, and you can also add a mouse highlight effect so mine is yellow and you can change the size of it to you know play around with it it's pretty fun and then yeah there's a logo there's many other stuff that you can add but i'm not really sure of right now maybe in the future when i make another video like this one i will show you but yeah so that's that and you also have a webcam overlay so if you want to record your face while you're playing you click on it and you just do add webcam overlay to video and you just select your webcam that you have connected onto your computer the format i'm not too sure how to do this but you have those there are many videos out there on youtube that will help you with this and yeah in the size of the overlay and then you click ok and then you'll appear with a little window where your webcam will be and you can record so that's basically the webcam and some of the settings and also once you're done recording you have a little folder here where it says windows and this is where all your videos will be after you finish recording and where it says images these are where all the screenshots you took will be here um i'm pretty sure you, you capture an image with this little camera here you can also pause the video as well if you go to general this is a really important step because you want to locate where you want your videos to appear on so i have in a specific folder where i keep all my videos so for you it will be different obviously here so if you click on these three dots you're gonna select the folder that you want to store your videos in so um, i store my videos under videos here and i click on the pam folder or you can make a new folder from here too and click ok and um there are many options here it says start banding cam and is that minimize to tray and run banding cam on windows startup there are many other options that you can do you can set a timer um there's fps oh yeah once you download this your fps will show it will have this checked i don't like having the fps show here so i just uncheck it and Imagine you can use hotkeys as well coffee, if you like those to read the day's newspaper well it's not as far fetched go to video seen. there's fact, record hotkey um pause hotkey um show mouse cursor i like to show my mouse sometimes add, add mouse click effects um there's add webcam overlay and there's other stuff i wouldn't mess up with this because i like the settings so just leave it as how it is i haven't touched it either so yeah and there's image and there is the way you can um change the format of the image capture so you can do it jpeg high quality a bmp a png and all that stuff and the about this is just information and if you decide you get the to get the like full version started. you, you can click here um but yeah and here it tells you here that you're unregistered and you only have 10 minutes 10 minute video with the watermark and to remove the watermark like i said you have to purchase bendy cam for forty dollars so yeah you have the website here as well and yeah that's basically how you use bandicam it's not that hard it has a great quality as well so i've been using for like quite a few times i've been using bandicam for a lot of time and yeah it's really helpful and you also get an online help if you're stuck with something they can always help you too so yeah that is basically how you use bandicam i recommend it for beginners and it's really simple like i said and it has a great quality so yeah that's basically the video that i have for you guys today 
um i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helped you all links will be in the description and make sure to ask me some questions in the comments and i will be glad to help you bye Thank <laughs> you.